Welcome to the Juniper Support Portal AI-based RMA video. Juniper Networks is excited to announce the launch of AI-based RMA workflow, which is designed to automate and simplify several steps in the traditional RMA workflow. AI RMA enables customers to upload their logs and receive real-time insights into potential causes of failure. The case creation process is very similar to what you're already familiar with in the Juniper Support Portal. This tutorial highlights only the key changes to workflow. If the primary reason for which you are opening a case is to request for replacement of a hardware failure, select yes. Otherwise, based on your understanding, you may choose any of other options. For some questions, you may observe a KB hyperlink to act as guide to help you determine your next course of action. In this example, you may click on the link if you are unsure how to answer that specific question. Depending on the response to the previous question, you will be asked to select the defective product from the list of assets. This list is populated based on latest install base records. Otherwise, based on your understanding, you may choose any of other options. Proceed to upload all the relevant RSI and or slash var slash log files from the faulty device. For optimum performance, it is recommended to upload files that are less than 100 megabytes in size. The AI engine is tuned to work with standard Juno's log files. Additionally, it can handle compressed files, but will not process images or PDFs. Irrespective, all log files will be attached to the case and made available to JTAC. Upon successful completion of uploading the log file, you will receive an acknowledgement. Click Done. Once all the log files are uploaded, click on the checkbox, I have uploaded all relevant log files, and click on Analyze Logs. The AI-enabled analysis is now in progress. Using advanced machine learning models, the engine analyzes the logs, identifies patterns, and compares the data with a vast knowledge base of known issues and resolutions. If the AI identifies a hardware issue, it automatically suggests RMA options based on the problem diagnosed. The customer can then initiate the RMA request without needing to interact with a support engineer. These results will be logged in the technical case and available for reference if needed. If no fault is detected, please proceed to click on Finish and to proceed with a regular case flow. If you are proceeding with Create RMA, you will be required to review the online RMA guidelines and confirm. Review the shipping address listed in the install base and make any necessary updates. Additionally, provide special delivery instructions, such as your internal ticket number, on-site delivery contact number, or any other relevant details. If the return contact differs from the shipping contact, please update the details by selecting the appropriate checkbox. Select Finish to complete the RMA creation process. You will also see a success banner on the top of your screen to confirm the creation of the RMA. You will subsequently receive email updates from logistics on the status of your RMA. If you have any questions related to the RMA or delivery timelines, feel free to contact the global support team through the Ask a Question feature. For follow-up technical queries, please call customer care team to reopen the case and to engage JTAC for further troubleshooting. To ask a question, go to the Related tab on the case. In the Related RMAs section, click on the corresponding RMA number. For your RMA-related queries, Click on the Ask a Question tab to submit your query, and our customer care or logistics team will address it promptly. Thank you for your time and attention to this tutorial. We will keep you updated through technical support bulletins, knowledge base articles, and emails. Don't forget to subscribe to the TSBs to stay informed.